people have been interested in Neanderthals since their remains were discovered in a German cave in the mid-19th century. Their stocky bodies and massive heads give us a funhouse mirror look at the evolutionary path humanity might have taken. Despite DNA discoveries revealing that all modern human populations include a small amount of Neanderthal DNA, we still view our Neanderthal cousins as the black sheep lineage of the Homo genus. Here are some fascinating facts about them. Number 1. Neanderthals had a keen sense of fashion. Neanderthals lived in Europe, so they had to protect themselves from frostbite and other cold-related conditions. Although no frozen caveman clothing has been unearthed, archaeologists believe Neanderthals wore clothes to regulate their core body temperature. Circumstantial evidence of Neanderthal clothing includes a stone tool with residue from hide scraping, pointed bone awls used to punch holes in hides, and a twisted bit of cord, possibly from shoes or fabric. The type of clothes Neanderthals wore is still debated, but it was most likely more complicated than a loincloth. Researchers told Live Science that if Neanderthals wore parkas, pants, and boots, they were most likely the first fashionistas. Number 2. Neanderthals cared for their comrades with disabilities. A fragment of a Neanderthal child's ear bone indicates that she had Down syndrome and was cared for by her community. In a study published in June in the journal Science Advances, researchers identified a six-year-old Neanderthal child dubbed Tina in a cave in Spain. Tina's ear bone, which dates from between 273,000 and 146,000 years ago, has a shape linked with Down syndrome, among other abnormalities. Although no genetic testing has definitely revealed Tina had Down syndrome, the researchers believe she would have needed help from her community to survive because her ear bone indicated she had severe hearing loss and vertigo. The discovery shows that other Neanderthals were supporting her and her mother out of a sense of altruism. Number 3. Neanderthals created an early glue factory. As early as 65,000 years ago, Neanderthals on the Iberian Peninsula were expert engineers who produced sticky tar in a precisely controlled environment. In the December issue of the journal Quaternary Science Reviews, researchers detailed their discovery of a hearth in a cave floor in Gibraltar. The hearth was filled with charcoal and plant resin, which was most likely heated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit to create the gooey glue required to make weapons like spears. The findings demonstrate that Neanderthals were highly clever and capable of working together to create complicated tools. Number 4. Modern humans and Neanderthals buried their dead differently. Humans and Neanderthals are the only species that bury their corpses in holes and cover them up. However, Neanderthals buried their dead differently from Homo sapiens, according to a study published this summer in the journal L'Anthropologie. Researchers discovered both similarities and contrasts between burials in Western Asia throughout an 85,000-year period when modern people and Neanderthals overlapped. Everyone buried their dead regardless of gender or age, and both modern humans and Neanderthals placed objects in their graves. But while Neanderthals buried their dead in a variety of positions in caves, early H. sapiens buried theirs in the fetal position outside caves. Neanderthals and Homo sapiens began burying their dead some 90,000 to 120,000 years ago, maybe to mark their territory or lay claim to certain resources in a landscape full of hominins. Number 5. The last Neanderthals were isolated. The DNA sequencing of a Neanderthal named Thorin revealed that certain groups may have remained isolated for thousands of years before becoming extinct. Thorin was discovered in France's Rhone Valley and dates back between 52,000 and 42,000 years. His DNA indicated that his lineage was quite inbred, despite the fact that other Neanderthal groups resided nearby. This raises the puzzling question, how can we imagine populations living in isolation for tens of thousands of years when they were only about a two-week walk apart? Such findings challenge previous assumptions and suggest we may need to rewrite our understanding of the factors contributing to the greatest extinction in humanity's history. Number 6. They were artists. According to research published in 2018, Neanderthals created the oldest known cave art. The study focused on art in three Spanish caves, which included red and black renderings of animals, dots, and geometric signs, as well as hand stencils, handprints, and engravings. Researchers discovered that the paintings were painted at least 64,000 years ago, 20,000 years before Homo sapiens arrived in Europe. Neanderthals were the continent's sole human species at the time, so they must have been the creators. 
One result of this discovery provides proof that Neanderthals had an artistic sense similar to that of early Homo sapiens. Number 7. Neanderthals were probably absorbed into modern human groups. Two major studies revealed that while Neanderthals vanished as a group, many of their DNA did not. By examining more than 300 human genomes from the last 45,000 years, researchers concluded that the majority of the Neanderthal DNA in us is the result of about 7,000 years of interbreeding, which began around 47,000 years ago. In contrast, a study published in the journal Science in July indicated that the Neanderthal genome may have been between 2.5% and 3.7% human, implying that both human and Neanderthal groups had a long history of exchanging mates. The DNA research also suggested that the Neanderthal population was rather small. The findings suggest that, rather than undergoing a dramatic extinction, the Neanderthals were simply absorbed into larger human groups. Number 8. Neanderthals shared genetic traits with woolly mammoths. Neanderthals hunted big animals such as the woolly mammoth, a now extinct ancestor of modern elephants that weighed up to 12,000 pounds and was coated in fur. A 2019 study found that there are molecular signs of adaptation to cold environments that were shared by Neanderthals and the woolly mammoth. This is likely because both species came from African ancestors before adapting to the frigid conditions of Ice Age Eurasia and they both fell extinct at the same time. The two species encountered similar environments and, as a result, evolved in similar ways. This makes them an excellent example of evolution. Finally, it has been around 40,000 years since the last Homo neanderthalensis, or Neanderthals, disappeared from sight. The Neanderthal, our closest human ancestor, continues to captivate scientists and the curious alike. So, what are your thoughts about today's video? Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon for more updates. See you in the next one.